Hi everybody, welcome back to Sipsville. Uh, oh my god, I can't believe uh, last episode. I I'm really sorry about this. I, I thought the pig pen was done. Turns out we're missing a log in the pig pen. And uh, oh my god, all these pigs could have broken out. And uh, thanks very much for telling me about that. I probably would never have noticed. Because uh, it's it's kind of hidden um, behind this, uh, this bakery building. And um, I don't think I would have seen it because it sort of blends in with this other crap here too. So um, we're going to get that patched up straight away and then none of these pigs are going to escape uh, and that'll be that'll be good. Um, second thing I didn't do last episode, uh, which I should have done, uh, I think I was just rushing or something. I wasn't really paying attention. But um, we, had some, uh, we had some bones and we were making some bone armor, but um, I didn't actually... Um, build any bone carving knives so um we're gonna we're gonna keep a um an extra one on hand at all times much like the stone hammer um so that's fine we'll uh, we'll build as many as we need for now or we'll get somebody to build uh some and hopefully we have uh the stuff that we need to build them actually let me just check what do we need for this we need bones and wood and uh we got bones and uh i'm sure we have some wood somewhere too and if we don't uh we'll get these bastards out here chopping we'll, we'll just chop Chop for good measure anyway, and uh, let's get somebody to cut this bush as well. Oh yeah, God, this episode's great already. Already some tree chopping and bush cutting. I don't know who's going to cut the bush, and I don't even care who's going to cut the bush. Jordy's frolicking around in the field here. He just passed this boar, pretty nice looking boar, and uh, Matilda's out getting some wheat from the farms. And uh, while those while those armors are being made, um, we're gonna try to move these uh, we're gonna try to move these mills uh, a little bit closer uh, to the fields. And actually, let's try to put them inside too. That'd be pretty sweet. Um, how am I doing for stone? Oh, I keep thinking the stones in there. Okay, well we can probably mine out some stone. Uh, so let's mine out all this junk here, and uh, we'll get a nice little pile of stone going. And uh, and then with that stone, we'll build some walls, and then we'll get. Uh, some mills inside and that'll be sweet and the, then these cows won't get whipped around by hurricanes and rain and threatened by ghosts and all that other junk um, That'll be really good. Oh and check this out too. Somebody uh, somebody said that if I put a stockpile over top of all this tilled land here And then I destroy the stockpile. Oh, no, that didn't work Maybe it's the zones actually maybe if I just make a gigantic bakery here and then I destroy the bakery No, that didn't work either. Look the tilled land's still there so, um, so much for that. That didn't seem to work very well. Uh, but that's okay. We don't mind that the, yeah, tilled land's there. And, uh, if there's some other way of getting rid of that tilled land, that'd be great. But for now, we, we'll probably just end up building something over top of it, like a building or something like that. I wonder if I could just actually... No, I can raise or lower the terrain or add fluids, but uh, I'm too scared. I don't want to do that. I, I think if you add fluids, you can, like, flood the whole map. And, uh, God, can you imagine? I don't want to do that. I don't want to flood all of Sipsville. Not not at this crucial point. I mean, we're, we're just getting things built up and uh, and ready. And, oh, God, that'd be awful. Um, where's Sadon? Where the hell is that son of a bitch? He's not in his room. Where, where the hell could he be? I hope he's not down here sleeping in somebody else's bed. Oh no, he's just having his lunch. Okay, we're gonna convert Sadon to a soldier. He's gonna be a full-time soldier now, because he's the sheriff, and uh, he's gonna have to run around and, and kill stuff and, and defend everybody, which means that we have nine people left uh, to do all the work, uh, which is fine. That, that works out pretty good. Um, so hopefully those people will uh, start mining some other stone out um, and then we can uh, we can get those mills moved over and and that's what we're gonna do this episode and I'm gonna stick to it this time too because I know I always start an episode and I say oh we're gonna do this that and the other and then we never do any of it because I always get sidetracked I've got like uh, I need to start tattooing tasks like onto my body I think my short-term memory is terrible but, um, oh, Christ almighty. Uh, I mean, how long ago did I put that build order in for that last log? Nobody's doing anything. Bryce is eating bread. Um, at least Anastas is, like, sort of trying to make bread. We've got one bread. Oh, God, we've only got one bread. Oh, that's raw food. Oh, actually, there's that other barrel up here. What's, what's this got? Oh, yeah. Got some raw pork and some raw poultry. Um, no pigs coming out yet, but, uh, but that's okay. We'll get Jordy to, uh, oh no, come on, Jordy, come back here. You want to kill this boar, don't you? God, he's, he's like bloodlusting all the time. That's okay. Let's kill some of these stupid birds, too. It takes forever to kill them, too. Because it's hard to catch a bird with your bare hands. They don't have nets or anything. I wonder if you can make nets. Or maybe kill them with a fishing rod. 
Imagine that. Imagine casting your fishing rod randomly and just like catching a bird with it. That would be crazy. Um, hopefully they don't implement that into the game. That that wouldn't be very good. One thing I hope they do implement in this game, though, um, if if I may be so bold, is um, I wish that you could assign people specific tasks. That's one thing that was really good about Dwarf Fortress. You could you know you could set somebody as like a designated woodcutter, and the more wood that he cut, the better he got at it too. Like he could become like the lead woodcutter and stuff like that. That would be really sweet. That's that's. That kind of stuff owns, actually. I like all that. But, uh, you know, if it never makes it into the game, that's not a problem either. I mean, the game is, is very good without that. But, you know, um, it, 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 it is a good thing. But uh, there we go. We got our uh, we got our bone carving knife. There's one on the ground. Um, somebody should put it into this dual chest, really. But, um, but that's okay. If they don't want to, they don't have to. I'm gonna be less mean to the villagers, and hopefully, um, hopefully they'll work harder actually. And if they don't, then I'm just gonna start being a real mean bastard all over again, and uh, and cussing at them, and uh, making fun of them for not working hard enough. Oh my God, what are you doing? Who was that? Was that Jasmine? Yeah, it's Jasmine. Oh God, she made some bone greaves. Oh, that's fantastic. Where the hell's Jordy now? We gotta find Jordy. He's he's getting this he's getting this set straight away. Let's get him on auto equip as soon as we. Actually, I'm just going to pause it so I can catch him. Um, where is he? Jordy, that's not you. Oh, there we go. Auto equip. Yeah, here we go. We're all over this. Jordy's going to get some bone armor, and he's he's going to be the talk of the town. Sadon's going to get super jealous. He's already sort of got it in for Jordy because... Um, Jordy doesn't have like proper eyes. They're just they're all they're totally white because he can't see. He doesn't have his like Star Trek bandana thing to go over his eyes to help him see. Uh, and and Sadon's got big problems with that. So um, I mean Jordy's just out here trying to catch a bird now. I don't I don't know how that's gonna work out for him. I mean it's hard enough to catch a bird when you can see, but you can't. Oh my God, he's done it. God, that's fantastic. Okay, here we go. Oh, let's get this bird out of here too. God, get out of here, bird. Can I get him? I'm clicking. Oh, almost, almost. Oh god, it's so hard to click on the birds. No, no. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Let's kill that bird too. We don't want him pooping on the wheat fields. We need this wheat to be nice and clean. Oh yeah. Here we go. We got some breads. We got we got a bit of bread stored up, which is very good. And uh, how are we doing with that stone? Ah, oh, great. They've they've done it. They got all the stone up. Okay, cool. Let's uh let's build another. Um, uh, yeah, let's build it here. This is going to be great. Um, we want stone wall. We want it here. And we're going to build it like this. And then over here. We want to make sure that we can fit all of our mills in here. So, uh, we need one, two, three. God, this could be a big building. Um, that's okay, though. It's, it's worth it. And then we're going to put the door right there. Oh, yeah, this is going to be fantastic. Let's get a uh, wooden door on here too. Use up some of this wood. Oh, they, they just left it out in the field too. They should have put it into these barrels. Oh my god. Who's that? Oh, it's Bryce. Oh, Bryce is sacrificing a pig to the um to the pork god. Oh god, and he's just left that raw pork on the ground too. That's really disgusting. Oh hooray! Look, the pig pen is done. The pig pen's done, and uh Jordy's also wearing his bone underpants oh that's fantastic look at this god he's so badass he's gonna look like such a boss when he's uh when he's all pimped out in his bone armor uh we're gonna have to get these guys to dig this shit out too um we're gonna need a bit more stone that's okay though um i suppose we could uh destroy this mill um as soon as uh there we go no let's turn let's destroy one of these ones that, that are far away actually uh as soon as they make some flour with it We'll destroy it. There we go. Off it goes. And uh, we'll get another one. Get an order in for another one straight away. Oh, shit. That's the wrong one. It's, uh, it's in here. Here we go. Mill. Oh, yeah. Uh, and we'll get it in the corner. We'll, we'll get it right here. There we go. So somebody's going to have to go out and get a cow. And uh, we're going to need some stone and some wood. Uh, we got wood. We got stone, too. And uh, we're getting more, too. Oh, look at this. And, and Juliana, who's still mortally wounded, down in the mines, mining away. Um, like true champs while Jasmine sleeps and uh, and Bryce has gone to bed too. Uh, Bryce Bryce seems to get tired very easily. Oh my god. Somebody left some raw poultry out in the, out in the field too. That's disgusting. Oh, and how did this badger get down here? Oh my god. It's like a uh, breed of like underground badger. Do badgers go underground? I don't even know. 
I don't e I don't even think I want to know actually. God, badgers are pretty terrifying. Okay. We should always uh not always, but we should uh also make another uh animal pen. Actually, I think the next pen that we make will be a bit bigger and have uh different animals in it. And uh and hopefully some of those animals uh breed with each other crossbreed and then we can get all sorts of crazy mutant cows with like pig heads and uh what about a cow with like with a pig snout oh my god that'd be crazy but uh i, I don't actually know if i really want that um sometimes i say these things and uh and i convince myself that i want them but i, I don't i don't actually want that at all that's uh that's that's all kinds of wrong all right so we'll get some more stone looks like somebody put the door on the wrong way good job whoever did that um, obviously didn't look at the, uh, the building plans and, uh, installed the door, uh, sideways. So, nobody's gonna be able to get in this building when it's done, but that's okay. God, these mills inside are gonna be sweet. I hope they actually work inside, I don't know. But we can, we can just put it on this view after and, uh, and hide. That'd be great. So we're, uh, I'm trying not to pile on too much stuff, because I want these people to actually do some work. Um, instead of, uh, having way too much to do. Oh my god. Jordy, oh no, it's boots. Jordy, I hope you're gonna come and get your boots and your helmet in a minute, or if you haven't already. Oh, come on, Jordy, yeah, you can do it. Here he comes. He's got his eye on the prize. He's going, no, no, Jordy, wrong way, no. Jordy needs, uh, God, I think he needs like a, maybe we can get one of those badgers trained up as like a, like a guide badger, and uh, we can put him on a leash, and Jordy can, can walk around Sipsville, with his guide badger, and the badger can show him where all of his cool stuff is, because Jordy's missing a trick here. He's got a bone helmet devoted to him that he's not picking up, and he's also got these bone boots. To oh, maybe he's going to pick them up now. No, Jordy, you missed them. You just walked right by them. Oh, God, Jesus. Oh, no, he needs a nap. Okay, that's fine. Anastas is al also having a nap. Um, I'm not going to build more quarters here, because I'm not ready to accept new people to Sipsville yet. I'm, I'm quite happy with the people that we have right now. And, uh, and I don't want to promote this style of living either. I want to get people like their own rooms and pimp them out and stuff like that. So once we can start clearing some of these dopes out of this underground hovel, um, we'll turn this into two luxury bedrooms, which will be pretty sweet. And, uh, and then we can build some houses and, and some other crap for people. Um, eventually we're going to have to get a stove down here too. And I said I would do that last episode. And uh, God, I, I need some iron. I need to start smelting iron and doing all sorts of crap. Uh, so so that'll have to wait really right now. We want to get all these mills over by the wheat fields uh, So that we can increase our flour production and we can get more bread uh, Pumped out god, that'd be sweet. I'm just gonna check my priorities make sure everything's right here Okay, so baking and cooking is top and that's that's good gathering and harvesting a second That's also very good uh, Butchering we're gonna have to get that promoted actually we want uh, now that we've got pork on the agenda we need that uh, we need that up there and hauling forth that's fine that should be good I hope god watch 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 us just die now that'd be terrible somebody left some bone boots outside oh my god we're gonna have to get an armor rack god there's so much to do in this game it's pretty stressful and uh, Juliana is just sort of limping around uh, dying she's gonna go take a death nap and never went no I'm just joking she's only mortally wounded should be fine we'll get a hospital pretty soon yet another thing uh, to add to the list of things to do and look they're leaving the flower inside oh that's nice now, now the flower won't get all waterlogged and drenched and unusable because it's outside and look at with this big area here we can actually build something decent once we move these stupid mills out of the way oh god and this one's up and running now too fantastic all right, lots of stone. Don't know what these dopes are doing. I guess they're, uh, they're, well, they're probably baking and eating bread as they get hungry, which is fine, I guess. We need a bit of a backlog, but we'll get there. We'll get there eventually. Oh, good job, Anastas. That's, like, so proactive. Fantastic. Where the hell is Sadon? Oh, God, I hope he's not dead. No, he's not dead. Where is he? Next soldier. Oh, of course. He's just, uh, he's chilling out in the dining room. Um, because that seems to be his full-time job now. He, uh, he does nothing... He does nothing else. It's it's crazy. Um, God, Sadon, he's such a bastard. He's he's a threatening bastard too. He was threatening Bryce the other day and Eleanor. Eleanor is is like shit scared of him now. Well, everybody's pretty shit scared of him because he's the only one who's got like some decent armor. But as soon as Jordy can actually find his armor, um, everyone will 
probably want to make Jordy into the uh, into the next sheriff. And uh, God, I'd be all for that. I think Jordy's fantastic. He's he's just been like such a good addition to the uh, to the town. Much better than Sadon. I mean, Sa all Sadon's offered to the town so far is just like a really grotesque beard. And look, he's not even making food. He's just coming up and getting it and spitting in Bryce's face. He he doesn't even say thanks or acknowledge anybody. Nothing. He just thinks it's owed to him. Gonna eat that bread and then. When he's tired of eating all day and, and hanging out in the dining room, he's going to come up to this nice lush pad that we created for him and just have like a beauty sleep. Oh god, he's such a bastard. Alright, we're almost done this wall. God, yeah, that'd be great. It'd be nice to finish this little building off this episode. And I think we will, actually. We'll finish it off. It'll be fun. Um, and then next episode, we need to get our iron works going. We need we need a, a little house with uh, with like an iron smelter and an anvil and stuff like that. And then we can start making some cool iron stuff. And the first thing we need to make with our with our cool iron smelting operation is a stove. We'll make a stove so that we can cook up that pork, and that'll be great. Oh, look at these guys. They're all going balls to the walls on the wall now. That's fantastic. Come on. Oh, yeah, Juliana, you're the best. You, you lift that wall. Oh, the whole wall. There we go. Uh, Matilda's getting involved. Even Jordy. Jordy is so sort of like bent on getting this this wall done that he's not even picking up his cool armor and stuff like that. I wonder if I need to like make him auto equip again actually. I'm a bit worried about Jordy. Come on. Here we go. Let's see what he does. Come on Jordy. You can do it. I believe in you. No. Oh. Oh. He might do it. He's doing it. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh my god, Jordy, you look like such a badass. We just need the armor now and you'll be set. Oh, look at him go. He is such a badass. That's amazing. Oh god. I, I think it looks better with his crappy shirt actually. I, I can't wait to see what like the shoulder pads and stuff are like. Okay, sweet. We got this building done now. Our mills. Oh, we'll destroy this mill. And let's also destroy this mill. Sorry, whoever that is. And you're gonna have to find another mill because we destroyed them all. And we're gonna put them in here. Oh yeah, another mill right here. Oh my God, our dream of having mills inside has uh, has now been realized. God, that is fantastic. I wish I could make like a tower here with like a big mill on it so that I knew that this building was the mill building, but, but I can't. So I'm just gonna have to pretend. And uh, maybe Anne can actually make the swooshing sounds of the uh, mill as it t spins around. That'd be sweet. Okay, um, I think we'll uh, we'll end there for now. Um, that was what episode twelve. Oh my god, we're still going. Um, we don't have a backlog of food yet, um, but look at we've got some pigs coming out. The the pen's been enclosed. Bone armor is being made. Uh, we built this really awesome mill house and and put the <laughs> mill house. We put the uh, the mills inside and uh, and and everybody's working hard at getting those up and running and uh i think next episode we'll get some iron we'll make a stove and uh oh god we'll make some iron swords for people and stuff too oh that's gonna be fantastic everybody's just gonna be walking around with like tons of bling and armor and uh and awesome weapons and then we can just go rampaging around the map and kill everything and then um hopefully we can uh, get into the dungeon soon too because that's gonna be sweet and i've never done that i've never been down there before i've never done that in this game so that should be pretty fun to watch as well because uh that's probably going to be the end of sipsville to be honest because i don't know what the fuck i'm doing but um but there we go okay um as usual thanks for watching and i'll uh, catch you for the next one